And finally, looking to live a little longer, laugh a little more. Well, tonight we're going to let you in on a little secret. The fountain of youth, that ticket to happiness, might be as simple as being kind to others. Here's ABC's Dan Harris. Check out what happens to your brain when you give to charity. Studies show that people who give or volunteer are less depressed, have lower blood pressure, and live longer. For a majority of people, they actually get more pleasure in these pleasure centers of the brain when they give than when they get. Those are the same pleasure centers that uh, are lit up when you uh, have sex, when you ha uh, have, you know, uh, fall in love, and when you eat candy, even girls who aren't. New York Times columnist candy, Nick Kristoff uh, and his Oscar wife, the writer Cheryl Wu Dunn, have written a new book called A Path Appears in which they issue a challenge to all of us. If we want to have a truly fulfilled life, we must give back. Well, a lot of people feel there's not much I can do, especially when I look at the intractable nature of the problems out there. Any one individual can't solve a problem in its entirety, but one individual can have a transformative impact. For 50 cents, you can deworm a child, preventing a lifetime of health problems. For $50, you can buy 20 books for a child, dramatically boosting their odds of educational attainment. You're just saying, just do a little bit more. Absolutely. We really do think that if you fold it into your life, it really becomes a part of your life. Make giving a habit, they say, because we now know that it not only helps others, but it also helps you. Sometimes, Dan Harris, ABC News, New York. Make giving a habit. Good advice for all of us this Sunday night. Nick Kristoff's new series, A Path Appears, airs on PBS in January.